Hello YouTube, my friend Sean, Sansuri 350A here on YouTube. I bought my derp, I bought my uh, derp top or net top back from. Let me move this into the light so you can see a little better. Remember this little guy? Oh, she's a beauty. Essentially, when uh, he had a couple of people had this thing, my uh, unfortunately my late friend Sandra had this for like a month. Then I had it through freshman year of college. Then I uh, gave it to Sean over the summer, and I bought it back from him recently. So what this is going to do is replace the Mac Mini as a Linux server, because frankly, the Mac Mini is nice, but I want to be able to use more than 2 gigabytes of RAM, and the Mac Mini doesn't allow that because it's a 32-bit processor. And that's just the way it was designed. So. Essentially, essentially, what Sean did when he had this thing was he upgraded, he uh, changed out the board from the Atom 330, which was a dual-core hyper-threaded processor, that board itself. Since since these Atom processors aren't socketed, you have to do it that way. And he changed it to a board with an Atom D510 in it, which is dual-core hyper-threaded. It's very similar to what's in um, that server over there, except that this is, I guess, is the previous generation of the uh, 500 series processors that point. <clears throat> now what I've done is uh, I opened it up. He left two gigs of RAM in here for me. Thank you, Sean. And uh, I took the other one gig stick I had and stuck it in here. So this thing will have three gigs of RAM. Eventually it'll have four, but for now it's just going to have three. So there you have it. This thing I'm going to convert to run a team, the TeamSpeak server. Game ser it's going to run a TeamSpeak server game servers um, what else is this going to do that's about it it's going to run TeamSpeak servers and some game servers and possibly some uh, I don't know, maybe some virtual machines and stuff like that other than that you know there you have it Event eventually I might have to put another hard drive in here a bigger hard drive this is the same hard drive I gave to Sean within it it's a uh, uh, it's an 80 gigabyte refurbished Hitachi that originally came in the Dell C521 when I had it. And the drive and that drive is a loud ass clunker. So, you know, I'll fi I'll fire this thing up and I'll show it to you at some point. But it's a loud loud hard drive. Okay, more updates on the derp top. This is the little power supply that was in it. This little FSP group thing. Just thought I'd give you a look at the power supply itself. It's pretty well built for being Total crap. I mean, it uses crappy name brand caps. It uses uh, Capzon, C A P X O N brand caps. At least for these, uh, this big black one, it is. Now the problem is the fan that used to be in here is a was a pile of crap. Whenever I turn the computer on, we go. <laughs> it was because of this little fan here. So as you can see, I've cut it out. This fan was made by Yate Loon Electronics. Presumably China. So I stuck an old Cooler Master fan in here, and I didn't feel like really soldering. So what I did is I literally uh, I cut the wires. I cut that fan out with these wires still here. I uh, then I stripped the wires a little bit to expose the uh, actual you know copper wire or whatever the hell type of wire it is. And I twisted and I did the same to the uh, Cooler Master fan. I cut off the uh, Molex part of it. I used a Molex fan because it has two connectors, and that's what's in most power supply fans. So I twist, I literally just twisted the wires together at the right uh, negative and positive contacts and uh, took some heat shrink tubing, uh, put it around where they are, and took a barbecue lighter and, uh, uh, you know, heat shrunk the tubes. So there you have it. And that's an easy way to stick a new fan in here without having to re-solder the board. So there you have it. Hopefully this will work. I think it will, but we'll find out. All right, so I ended up playing around with that uh, net top. I've got uh, Debian installing stuff right now on it. It's going to become uh, my game ser the uh, main hub for my game servers and the TeamSpeak server, <clears throat> and uh, amongst other things that I'll put up. Um, the main thing is, uh, I left the hard drive the same, it's that 80 gigabyte, uh, 
Hitachi. Oh, Hitachi! And uh, I stuck the four gigs of blue A data RAM in there. DDR2800 <clears throat> I put the mixed three gigabytes into the ES2L board. This thing is now running Arch Linux. So I don't have to worry about the RAM as much. So essentially, <clears throat> what we've got here is another Debian box. It's very similar to this one, to the, the, the silver one, but it's more compact. I can put my router on top of that, and it will work fine. And <clears throat> once I get Debian up and running, it'll be running probably two, two Minecraft servers, um, Okay, we've got two Minecraft servers, an Urban Terror server, a TeamSpeak server, um, <clears throat> possibly some other servers if I uh, start to play other games, possibly OpenSim. Uh, I don't know, but this machine's quite capable. It's got 4 gigs of RAM and 80 gig hard drive. I could put a 500 in there, but I, I, I don't see the need for it at this point, so there you have it. Uh, so yeah, the thing does work. The hack fucked fan trick I did did work. <laughs> Imagine that. I put a six year old computer fan into a like maybe one and a half year old power supply where the fan had already died. I find that just kind of funny. Either way, uh, yeah, this thing is up and running and I'll give you guys another glimpse of it once it's actually done and everything's up and running. Alright, the server has been successfully completed and here I have it sit my router sitting on top of it now there's a speaker right here and this has a magnet in it so I pointed the hard drive the hard drive sits right there so it's not very close to the speaker so this is why I have this thing facing that way but of course it's still a computer so I got nothing sitting in the floppy bay uh, but Debian's just running away smoothly. It's connected directly by Ethernet right there. And it's running the TeamSpeak server, two Minecraft servers, one, eight, one with HMOD on it, one with Bucket on it. And eventually it will be running an Urban Terror server um, and a Counter-Strike source server probably. So this little guy will be pretty productive. And uh, yeah. So now that he's complete... I guess that's it for now. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, there's not much else to say, I guess, until a different video. So have a good one, everybody. Ciao.